Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Train Simulator, or actually Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. It's gonna take a while uh, getting used to the new title. But uh, yeah, we've sunk our teeth into repairing trains and driving trains and such. So, ooh, wow, we've got three jobs now available. The locomotive was damaged during the transportation of goods. The rear truck is damaged and requires urgent repair. The locomotive drove over something lying on the tracks. The front truck uh, of the wheel set axle requires servicing. And the locomotive stopped on the tracks and cannot move. It appears that there is a problem with the traction motors and must be towed to the workshop to make repairs. Right, we're going to accept the job number five, obviously. Right. Let's see. Necessary repairs to the truck assembly. Remember to check all the relevant elements that could be damaged. Quite a few parts. Alright, so let's see. Where's the rust? Eh, well, sort of that. What do they want, actually? Job order. It's gonna take a while for me to get to grips with it. 70%. How do I... Testing mode. <clears throat> In this mode, you can check the condition of various train elements to estimate the profitability of the repair. Remember, the higher the level of wear of individual elements, the greater the risk of unsuccessful repair of the element. How do I do that? Oh, like previously. Okay, so that's actually pretty good, even though it looked uh, rusty. Wait, what did the job order say? Uh, I can't remember what it said exactly. Hmm. Is it the engine? I don't think it is, right? The engine looks good. Actually, hmm. These pistons don't look great, but then... Oh. I can't really test that. Hmm. I'm assuming I need some kind of tools. But I don't think they would throw an engine... Yeah, there we go. I don't think they would throw engine problems at us. Right at the beginning. So what was that? Yeah, look at it. It's all rusty. Let's take that off. The dampener or whatever it was. We should probably start investing in improving our workshop. Look at those things. Oh, man, those are huge. Wait, why did it go that way? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Right, so the job order should now say, yep, uh, damper and axle box. Okay, so all three of those were indeed wrong. I mean, I'm pressing F. There we go. <clears throat> I have to actually click on it. I think those uh, springs over there are also in a dire need of repair. Yeah, it's kind of going the wrong way, isn't it? Shouldn't it be taken towards me? Taken off? Yeah. Well, maybe not. I'm not sure. Right, let's take that off as well, because I'm pretty sure that's the problem. Anything else that looks rusty? That thing over there, so we need to take everything off. You know, thinking about it, it must be quite interesting being an actual train mechanic. Um, it would be interesting to see what kind of tools they use, because, you know, when you're repairing a car, you'll use various things like wrenches and this and that. But for trains, everything is a little bigger and quite a lot heavier. So, um, the tools are likely bigger as well. <laughs> Would be quite interesting. Right, uh, have we found everything? Yeah, one thing remaining. I think it's probably on the other car. Although, everything seemed to be... The problem in this car... Ah, oh, there it is. It's that thing. So, let's take the hydraulic things off. I do apologize. I'll, it'll take a while before I learn the names of all of these. Uh, hydraulic brake piston, that's what it is. So these are the brakes, yeah. Oh, I see, it's from... Whoa, and they're hydraulic? Bloody hell. I thought it was pneumatic. So they press from both sides and turn this uh, counterclockwise. And that applies the brakes, I assume. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't... I thought that brakes were all... Um... Pneumatic on these things, on trains. Um, so, you know, if you were to lose hydraulic, I mean, uh, pneumatic pressure, they would automatically apply. Hydraulic brake hoses. Oh, now, ah. The problem is, I did not 
I did not sell off my previous things. So now I might not exactly know what is to be repaired and what not. Hmm, or maybe I do. I don't know. Let's see. So, hydraulic brake houses, 66%. Let's see. Come on, yes. And let me actually see if I can improve my workshop a little bit. So I've got only 3,700, that's it. Screw gun allows faster loosening and tightening of screws and bolts. Oh, zero out of five levels. Possibility of repair. Am I gonna go for this? Hmm. So I'm guessing this is my spending money. Uh, you know, and all the stuff that I uh, order online, I sort of get like a like credit or something. All right. Um, let's do hydraulics because they're probably the most expensive of the lot for the moment. Well, let's do all of it. There we go. Right. Hydraulics. Damper of axle box. That's hydro. Wait, 66? That's the same as before. Ah, you bastard. Uh, wrong bench. Yep. 66. Come on, this one should be a success. There we go. Lovely. Okay, these are all wrong benches. So these are all just uh, mechanical things. 66% as well. Hmm. 5,000 to repair that. Nice. 100% uh, to repair it, though. So that's good. Axle box. Look at all that money. Oh, 66%. I thought that was going to be another 100%. Wrong workbench. We've already tried repairing that one. 100% success rate. That's what I like to see. I wish the uh, little menu was a little faster. Yes, I know. Nice. And if I go back to the hydraulics, I probably cannot... Yeah, I cannot try to repair that again. So wait a second. I will need to buy a damper of axle box. And it's a hydraulic system. Oops. I just said it was a hydraulic system. Um, damp... Uh, wait, what? So it is... So it is a mechanical part. Um, damper. Oh, wait. There it is. 5,000. So see, I don't really have this much money, but I'm assuming... Count status after the work order. I don't... So this is my money, then. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, repair this stuff. Quite a lot of stuff missing. But this train is gonna be neat and nice after we're finished with it. Lovely. Look at all that stuff that we can put on now. There we go. So it'll be able to brake again, because, you know, braking on a train, kind of an important thing. Usually. You wouldn't really want to skimp on that. In most cases. Unless, of course, you know, you never want to actually stop for cars, or for other trains, or for, you know, track switches, or corners. Alright. Wait, that was only a hundred? Or was it at 100%? I gotta stop clicking like crazy. No, it's 100 value. Okay. Well, just like in real life, as soon as you buy it, it loses a lot of value. For some bloody reason. And then when you try to resell it, nope! Nobody wants to buy it. Alright, let's put this steel and rubber springs back. How does that... How is that even made? So I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is a rubber casing around, and inside are the, um, are the steel springs. Probably leaf, but, but, but then again, it's very small for leaf springs. Um, it's probably encased in rubber, and obviously it has to, you know, bounce. It's probably encased in rubber, I'm assuming, to protect the springs inside from corrosion, you know, from the elements. Um, look at those springs, man. Well, let's put that shiny new one in. Actually, it doesn't look that new, but that's why I kind of like about this. As soon as we put this on, we'll be able to put all the uh, hydraulic brakes and, uh, and the lines. There we go. Pistons. Well, that goes over there. Yeah, I feel like a train mechanic now, a proper one. 
It's like, look at me. I know a lot about trains. You got a train? Bring it over. I'll fix it. It's kind of like, you know, you can go throughout your neighborhood asking people, Oh, do you have a train? Do you need it fixed? It's not a problem. I'll do it. Right, we're done. Finish order. Look at that. How cool was that? I, always, I, I like what they did with the graphics. I know I've said it many times now. There we go. Bonus for low cost. Wait a second. I've just realized. I Since I don't probably own the train repair workshop, they're paying for the parts. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm confused. What is this? Can I? No. It's just checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. All right. Next one. Drove over something lying on the tracks. The front truck of the wheel set axle requires servicing. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I do like the fact how quickly this game loads everything. Oh, just one part. Well, that's interesting. And it's in the front. Uh, so, what? This one? Oh, no. The, the entire axle. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We'll have to take everything apart. Um. Yeah. We'll have to take quite a few things apart. I like it. Let's get in there. All greasy and... You know, and everything. And uh, take this baby apart. I wonder... I wonder how long actual train repairs take. I mean, obviously, it's all dependent on what's wrong and, you know, what has to be done on it. But, you know, it's just like a... I don't know, a general repair like this, for example. Taking the axle off and then back on. I mean, it can't be just a afternoon job, because <laughs> they probably have to lift the actual train as well. You know, lift it in its in their entirety. Um, the entire locomotive. And then, uh, and then get the axle off and stuff, so it's quite an operation. Right, what else do we have to take off these things? Oh, the brake calipers. On the other side. No, no, no. It's in all in one piece. Are you saying it's only held on by one screw? I almost don't believe that. It's probably simplified. Right, let's see if we can repair this axle. I have a feeling we won't be able to. Wait, this is the wrong... Oh, this is the electric one. Right. 12,000. 100%. Of course I will do that. That's excellent. I really do like what they've done with this, yeah. You know, there's a risk and reward uh, of repairing things. Right, installation mode. Look at this shiny new thing. Of course, it's still a little worn here, but uh, I like that, as I said before. All right, let's put the brake calipers back on. Oh, so these just press over here. It's strange that they're not curved in the uh, shape of the wheels. Hmm. Well, as I said in the beginning, in the uh, in the previous, in the first part of this Let's Play, I don't really pretend to know about how these trains work and how they're put together. I mean, as I said, I know about diesel electric and all that stuff, but. Um, not much about the actual workings underneath. Right. There's the axle box. Big thing. I don't think you can lift this with your... You know, with just one person. Probably all has to do... With the help of a crane or some kind of a pulley or... Trolley or something. Uh, right, let's put this thing on the drive gear. Oh yeah, the drive gear first and then this little thing. The electric motor rotor tip shaft. Say that ten times fast. I won't, because I'll just make a fool of my myself. But then again, I already am, so it's you know, not a problem. Ah. I like the music as well. Alright, that goes on there. And that's that, I think. Let's see. It is. Oh yeah, of course, it was just the wheel axle. Nice. We should also get the bonus for the low cost. Yeah, look at that. 1,000. Nice. Alright, now we have the one where we actually have to go and fetch the train. There we go. There is a problem with the traction motors. Oh! This is going to be an electric um, job now. The motors have a problem. 
Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. It's going to be quite interesting when we start working on the steam engines. Uh, A4. Bring it to the workshop. Right. A4. Oops. I always do the wrong thing. No! I can't zoom in and out. Right, so A4 over there. We just need to go... We'll just go around here. Alright, pedal to the metal. Go! We'll go left there. There we go. <laughs> I like that. I like it. Look at this crane. That is a big thing. Let's do it from the inside. Hmm. That'd be a bit weird. With the, uh, with the corners taking, taking at such speed. They did a really good job. On this. And so far, I'm really enjoying the game. As I said, no bugs. No anything like that. You can get the game yourself, by the way, if you, uh, follow the Steam link I put down below in the description. Alright, we're pretty much going exactly where we need to. Some more horn. Um, there are specific rules as to how the horns need to operate. You know, I don't know. The, the different countries have different rules, but uh, I don't know. When you start the train, I know they have to do some kind of a horn combination, um, I think. Uh, when they're approaching a crossing, they have to do the horn. When they, uh, they're, they're approaching... It's also different when they're approaching crossings with no uh, ramps and such, I believe. Oh, there you go. Right, it's on... Oh, 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 was it on the right? Ah, darn it. It's on the right. We have to go back. Fortunately, we own these tracks so there's no other trains to compete for the uh for this place for the tracks themselves all right when i press space it automatically puts the uh throttle to zero we can definitely stop quite quick almost on a dime you would say you know considering it's a bloody train but then again we don't have um cars behind us it's just the the crane a village on the lake all right i don't do i have to yeah i do have to actually stop that's gonna be enough if i just get into the green thing oh i can't use my crane do i have to be in the green stuff with the locomotive yes i do all right so let's start up the uh, crane Ugh, turning the camera. Well, let's... Uh, lift. Right. So how how did this thing manage to derail? I thought it was only having problems with its uh, electric motors, but it actually derailed. Right. No, no, no. Pick it up. There we go. I just not need to bring it over there without actually crashing into our own train. That's really handy. It shows you where the train will land. Depending on what you do. Ah, I will have to rotate it a little bit. There we go. I kind of wish the, uh, the actual... Uh, crane had sounds as well. Ooh. Almost there. There we go. It's a little bouncy. Wait. I have to be perfect? Okay. Seems like I do have to be perfect. I guess it kind of makes sense. Um. Oh, wait. It's even telling me there what I need to do. So that's perfect, but the orientation... Oh, it's the other way around, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, it's the other way around. I need to <laughs> turn it around. Why would that even matter? I mean, this train needs to be towed. Oh, well. Wait a second, I've just noticed. 
No, never mind. I thought the uh, the diesel engine in the front was producing energy for the crane, which is very much possible. I, I mean, this is all hydraulic, probably, anyway. Um, but I wanted to see if I was doing stuff when I was moving, if the, uh, if the smoke got, you know, denser, that the engine would, uh, would uh, speed up, which would make sense, because it would need to power the hydraulics. But, uh, oops. That was not intended. Ah, ah, that was it. Okay. Right, let's see where we need to go. What, what's the... Oh, I keep trying to move the camera like that. Uh, so, I guess we should just keep going forward. Yeah. Just forward. Right, and right there. Switching that. And then just go to the right here. And then down here. Yeah, this is... A little bit like that, those old uh, train puzzle games. You know where you were in charge of switching the tracks and the trains rode around and picked passengers up and you had to make sure that they didn't crash into each other? I loved those games back in the days. I, don't, I wonder if they still make any. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit like it, even though there's really no trains to crash into. But you have to figure out uh, you know where to go here, so obviously I want to go right there. There we go, and then down there. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be correct then. Oh yeah, forgot about the horn. Come on. There we go. That was a proper use of the horn because we were, you know, crossing a crossing. I think I don't know. Why is the um, smoke so white, though? That's a diesel engine. It, I don't think it should be that white. <laughs> it might, um, might indicate some oil seeping into the pistons. I'm getting burnt. Hmm. We'll have to take our own train into, the, uh, into service soon enough. Oh, that's yellow. Why is it yellow now? Hmm. Right. Rotating the camera. Horn. Oh, yeah, we're back home. Uh-oh. Oh, bloody hell. I was afraid there that the uh, horn would be locked into permanent on. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We have to find the cause of the defect in the traction motors, but we're going to do that next time. So I hope you're enjoying the series. Please check out my Patreon. Um, the link is right here on the video, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye. <laughs>